Hello, welcome on my channel. Many people ask me to record a video on how to carry out the distillation process. The film will be divided into two parts. In the first one, I will show you the process of the first distillation, while in the second part we will separate distillate into fractions. I invite you to the video. Before we start, remember that distilling alcohol is illegal in some countries. You cannot even produce moonshine or other liquors resulting from fermentation of fruit, grains and sugar. Let's get started. We open 12 bottles of wine and pour the contents into the alembic. We turn on the heating and mount all elements of the alembic. Connect the cold water supply to the radiator. Cold water should be connected at the bottom of the radiator, while hot water drainage should be connected at the top. After mounting, everything should look like on the movie. Before the wine in the alembic reaches the right temperature of about 172 degrees Fahrenheit, it's time for some theory. Destillation of alcohol is possible because the boiling point of alcohol is lower than the boiling point of water. During the whole process, the decoction, which is placed in the so-called the brewing vessel, is heated to the temperature of about 172 degrees Fahrenheit. When this temperature is reached, we reduce the heating. We stabilize the temperature so that it stays at this level. During the entire distillation process, it will gradually increase. At the beginning of the distillation, we will receive alcohol with a capacity of about 130 proof while at the end it will have about 40 proof. This is because as time goes by, Alembic has less and less alcohol and with a gradual increase in temperature, the amount of steam increase and lower the strength of alcohol. The last thing to do before collecting alcohol is to seal all the connections of our Alembic. We do it from the mass resulting from the combination of the rye flour and water. We carefully seal all connections. Remember to seal the thermometer if you have one. We also set the water flow in the radiator. It should not be too high because it can overflow the water in the radiator and flood the apartment. As well, it should not be too low because it will not be able to change the state of alcohol from volatile to liquid. Hot water collection should look like on the movie. The temperature in the alembic reached 172 degrees Fahrenheit and the collecting of alcohol began. In this video, I will not focus on temperature because the thermometer, which I have, is of poor quality and it's not suitable for this purpose. I recommend buying an electronic thermometer. When collecting alcohol, I will be guided by the strength of alcohol received and the speed of reception. For me, it's usually about 2-3 drops per second or about half quart per hour. We start the distillation. It's 2 o'clock afternoon, so you will have an idea how much time it takes to carry out the entire distillation process. The alcohol we obtain at the beginning of the distillation has a power of 130 proof. Remember that during the first distillation, the first 2 to 4 ounces of so-called blind must be cast. It is methyl alcohol, which is poisonous. It has a boiling point lower than ethyl alcohol, which is why we collect it at the beginning of the distillation. If the temperature in the alembic is stabilized, it remains for us to wait until we collect all the alcohol. I will show you the amount and strength of alcohol you receive during this process. It's 2.30, so 30 minutes have passed, the power of alcohol received slightly decreased and is now about 120 proof. We have received about 7 ounces of alcohol. After an hour from the beginning of the distillation, the power of received alcohol fell to 110 proof. During this time, we received about 17 ounces of alcohol. It's 3.30. The power of alcohol received decreased proportionally and it's currently about 100 proof. We received about 22 ounces of alcohol. The alcohol obtained so far has a power of 120 proof.
After two and a half hour from the beginning of the distillation, we collect about 1.2 quarts of alcohol. The strength of alcohol receiving is currently 80 proof. It's 6 o'clock. We finish the first distillation. The strength of alcohol receiving is currently 40 proof. You can continue picking up to zero, but I usually stops at 40 proof. We received a total of about 2 quarts of 80 proof alcohol. That's it when it comes to the course of the first distillation process. In the next part, we will deal with the second distillation, during which we will divide the received alcohol into fractions. This is very important if you produce alcohol, such as whiskey, brandy rum, or alcoholic beverages that you will measure in the oak barrel. I invite you to the second part. If you like the video, leave the thumbs up and some comment. I also invite you to subscribe to the channel.